So this lesson is your April Composer of the Month lesson. And I actually don't have a picture of the composer uh, because I wasn't able to print it off before we ended up having the school closed down. But today we are learning about George Friedrich Handel, who was a German composer. He kind of lived right in between Bach and Mozart. Uh, and there's a funny video with Handel and Mozart or actors portraying them in this lesson. But uh, even though he was born in Germany, like Bach and Mozart, he's considered to be an English composer, which I think is really unique because he spent his you know, childhood in Germany, he learned German style music, but then he moved to Italy and then he learned all about Italian opera and got super into that. And then finally, he got a patron in England who was a wealthy nobleman. And then through that, the king of England was like, I like this guy's music and started paying to have Handel live at court with the king of England and write music for the king of England. And because of that, he became super duper popular in England. He lived most of his adult life in England. And so even today, even though he was born in Germany and he lived in Italy for some time, English people, they consider Handel their composer, which I think is very special. You don't see that happen very often. Handel's also unique uh, in the fact that he specialized in keyboard instruments. So the piano wasn't invented yet. Remember that piano's not even on the scene, but he played the kind of grandpa and grandma of the piano, which is the harpsichord, the clavichord, the organ, instruments that look very similar to the piano, but sound completely different. Um, so you would think that most of his music, the way Mozart and Bach's music were very famous for being these amazing harpsichord and organ pieces, you would think Handel would be known for his harpsichord and organ music, but actually he's known for his singing music. So he wrote a bunch of big choral works, he wrote operas, he wrote these things called oratorios, which are like operas, but they're about Bible characters. Yeah, they were making like veggie tales back then, they just weren't veg vegetables, they were like opera about Jesus. <laughs> it's kind of cool actually. So uh, I was actually trying to find a piece of music um, that I could play on piano for you that Handel wrote, and I couldn't find anything other than like old choir music from when I played piano for choirs. And that doesn't sound as interesting when it's just the piano parts. So you're gonna learn a little bit about Handel's music. You're gonna hear about his most famous piece of music, which I can almost guarantee you already know. And then you're gonna fill out a listening reflection sheet on another famous piece of music that you probably aren't as familiar with, but it has a cool name. It's called Fireworks. Uh, and for you first and second graders out there, this uh, lesson is a little more reading than some of the other lessons. So you may need to get an adult to help you if there's some words you don't get, or if you're not really sure what the sentences are saying, that might help you a little bit. Third and fourth graders, you're probably gonna be fine with this lesson. Have fun learning about Handel.